19th of League One, Sochaux remain in trouble despite having a new coach. Their defeat last weekend at Lorient was another severe setback for Hervé Renard's boys. Hosting Saint-Étienne will not be an easy task. Le Vert indeed should have won against Paris Saint-Germain last weekend had it been for an added time Matuidi equaliser after Saint-Étienne had led 2-0. Brandau starting on the bench for this away game. And a first chance for Sochaux. With uh, Bakambu. Great save there from uh, Ruffier. Certainly one of uh, France's best keepers. Good move again for Sochaux. And Nogueira giving it a go from far out. Ruffier again with a precious save. Corner for the home side. And uh, Lopi higher than everyone else. His uh, header eventually cleared by Franck Tabanou. Boumal through to uh, Gerbert. Terrible tackle there from uh, Kurt Zuma. He's logically sent off. And a double leg fracture for Thomas Gerbert, certainly out until next spring. Zuma could be suspended for a very long period as well. So sure again on the attack, Korsia manages to cross from the right hand side over to Bakambu. Ruffier is perfectly placed once again. What an opportunity for Sochaux. Satijen, this time on the break. And there goes the half-time whistle. It's goalless at Bonal. And Hervé Renard is not a happy man. Now remember, Lever are playing with 10 men after Zuma was uh, sent off. Logically, during the first period. Oh, and there goes another dreadful gesture. Boumal tackling Benjamin Cornier. And a second yellow card for Boumal. He too is sent off. Not a lot to be said there. It's going to be 10 against 10 for the final moments of this game. And there goes the final whistle. It ends goalless at the Stade Bonal. Sochaux dropped down to last position. A real disappointment after a, a rather good performance. Thumbs up to Saint-Étienne's keeper Stéphane Ruffier, hero of the game.